Hello everyone, my name is Phan Quyen Ngo. I am a PhD student in electrical engineering at the Echo de Technology Superior, Mongan, Canada. My supervisor are Professor Kaman Anhadat and Professor Kim Hua. Today I'm going to present to you my research paper with a title Particle Scrum Optimization Model Predictive Control for Microgrid Energy Management. This paper is presented in six sections. We start with an introduction to show the overview of the energy management in microgrid, the research question and expected uh, contribution, then describe a chosen microgrid configuration to form the objective function followed by the solution methods. The setup of uh, a numerical simulation is presented in section four. Then the results are discussed before wrap up with a, a conclusion. Nowadays, microgrid became a promising concept for integrating renewable energy sources into a complete system that can be operated in connected mode with the utility grid or stay in the isolated mode. However, power generation from the renewable energy sources uh, strongly depend on the intermittent nature of the weather, solar, and solar radi irradiation. Even this data can be forecasted, it always comes at a certain uh, errors. Uh, this challenge the, the performance of the microgrid operation. As we know, the integrated energy storage is a possible solution to improve the operation performance of the microgrid by, store, uh, by storing surplus energy from the PV and support the, the grid when needed. Uh, however, using the storage system is not a cost-effective solution. If there is no proper energy management algorithm to achieve an optimal operation, uh, to effectively schedule the operation of the energy storage in microgrid under the uncertainty, uh, a model predictive control scheme is applied, which is based on the future behavior of the system. It's allowed to implement a sequence of uh, optimization problem based on the updates of measured data and forecasted PV generation load and market price. That makes it to be able to adapt to the imperfection of the forecasted data. The MPC uh, algorithm requires an ability to show the sequence of the optimization problem on time. So the problem needs to be modeled as an LP or MILP to guarantee the effective solution. However, the uh, energy management problem in microgrid usually present at a complex nonlinear uh, or binary and uh, discrete problem. It's uh, difficult to show by using the, the numerical uh, algorithm methods. Mm -hmm. To show this problem, BSO algorithm is potential solution because of simplicity in the coding, implementing, and does not depend on the type of the problem. But the original PSO does not have the mechanism to tackle the constraint. So the out paper would like to provide some contribution uh, by developing a you know, constraint PSO in the combination with the, the micro as uh, the model predictive control algorithm to effectively show the constraint optimal energy scatter in microgrid. And uh, we carry out the, the simulation to show the performance of the proposed uh, algorithm by comparing with the linear programming algorithm. The objective is to minimize operation costs related to the energy purchase from utility grid, operation costs of the energy storage system, and revenue from the selling energy to the utility grid for the track of uh, simplicity. Power flow through the, the point of common coupling is assumed to be represented by only one variable which can be positive when buying energy from the utility grid 
and negative when selling back to the grid. The uh, objective function subject to power balance uh, equation power transfer limit at the PCC uh, st um, state of charge update equation energy limit of um, energy storage system power limit of energy storage system uh, and this problem is formed as a linear optimization problem in order to compare the proposed algorithm with the, the linear programming algorithm afterward. As mentioned above, an original PSO is not able to handle the constraint. We are going to apply that proof as an intuitive approach to handle constraint without determining any additional penalty factor. By applying that proof, a position that does not violate or violate the constraint with a lower degree violation is chosen to update the personal bet and global bet. It will guide uh, the population toward the feasible region to ensure the feasible optimal solution will be carried out. Here, the parameter phi denotes a constraint violation degree of each particle corresponding is, uh, to its position. Uh, the parameter de delta is a positive tolerance parameter for the quality constraint for the equality constraint. The follows uh, just illustrate the depth rule is present in the, the right finger. The PSO algorithm is so here in uh, the pseudo code. The PSO algorithm receives uh, its argument including variable dimension size, population size, maximum iteration uh, no, uh, number, variable upper and lower limit, and the forecasted data. Uh, the, the first for loop here, uh, the initial population is randomly generated. Then the global best is updated using that rule. After the main, uh, after that, the main for loop will update its particle velocity, the position, and then update the personal best, global best, by calling the DAP rule algorithm. That will be repeated until reaching the maximum iteration number. The output is the best solution. And the and and a model predictive control algorithm is applied in combination with the PSO at the interval. An optimal schedule is shown using PSO algorithm. Based on the measure system state variable, the power output power, the uh, PV output power demand and market price realization at the time and uh, predicted over the next 24 hours. Only the first sample in the sequence of the optimal decision is executed. And then the horizon is shifted. Um, at the subsequent point of um, the time, when the new measure state and the new predicted data is available, the PSO is called again to show the new optimization problem. Uh, in this paper, in test of using the receding horizon, we apply the rolling horizon methods, which we have to guide the MBC to look over the next 24 hours ahead in order to reserve enough energy in the um, energy storage system at the end of the schedule uh, horizon. To set up the numerical simulation, uh, PV based microgrid consisting of the 2500 m square PV panel and 2500 kWh battery based uh, energy storage system with fluctuation load that's connected to the main grid is considered. This simple configuration allows uh, to form a linear optimization problem in order to compare with the PSO algorithm. The parameter and the coefficient setup of, um, for numerical simulation is illustri illustrated in the table. And on the right, uh, the sample of the 
forgotten um, price PV outputs and loss is illustrated. The finger illustrates the simulation results using the PSLMPC in comparison with the, the linear programming MPC. As we can see, the battery level when using the LP MPC almost stay at the maximum level, while the PSO MPC is only charged up to nearly maximum level right up before the peak hour when the price and loss are the highest. Uh, beside the the LP MPC results, we can see that the battery receive uh, uh, from the grid when the price is low, then discharge afterward even at the low loss demand and price. But in the PSO MPC, only a small amount of energy taken from the grid to charge up the battery, and the battery support the grid better over the fluctuation of the uh, solar irradiant. Uh, it can be uh, considered that the PSO MPC achieved better uh, operation schema for the energy storage system. Even the daily energy cost uh, achieved by PSO MPC is worse than the LP MPC, but it's quite close. It's because of the LP MPC uh, achieve the exact global optimum while PSO can only obtain as close as possible to the global optimum. And because of the, some difference in uh, forecast data running in X uh, in simulation case, the right finger uh, shows the change of the daily energy cost at X MPC stage. It so the chain of the schedule to adapt with the chain of the forecasted situation. The microgrid operator cannot avoid the errors in predicted data, but can reschedule many times as soon as the real measure data is available. Finally, we can summarize as the proposed algorithm inhibits the symbol in implementation, coding, and less computational complexity. Uh, the proposed PSO MPC comply to all the constraints as we can see in the, the results. The constraint PSO MPC perform well in comparison with the LP MPC. And the, the result of this paper um, will support the, a lot of future work for example, uh, we want to investigate more the performance of the constraint PSO and MBC for more complex nonlinear and binary energy management problem. And uh, we, uh, we find the way to reduce the dimension size of the uh, decision variable uh, in the PSO MPC to speed up the, the algorithm. And uh, uh, we will improve the microgrid model precision by adding more the parameter and the, um, the element in the microgrid configuration in the future. So that is all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention. So I would like to answer the question from the committee. Uh, first of all, the solution represented in this paper targeted to the end user applicant. Uh, it helps to uh, it helps the, the PV uh, microgrid owner to achieve the maximum revenue, and wisely use their um, storage units, maybe their electric vehicle, to maximum the to maximize the PV generation and improve the stability of their system because of proper reserve and schedule for their battery. Uh, in terms of the creating a specific end use service, I would like to say that it's possible to create a mobile app which is able to connect and collect data from the system as well as sending the, the control decision back to the system. It's also able to gather the forecast data based on the online weather forecast and historical data of the weather and demand as well as the market spread 
uh, market price to to produce the the effective solution for the the, the PV microgrid system.